Uh, let's not talk about Noam Chomsky. Uh, he is probably the most popular uh, name in linguistics uh, during the last century. His views have been uh, among, among those views which have been cited widely in various uh, linguistic theories, including those relevant to pragmatics and syntax. Uh, Chomsky is more popularly known for his works in syntax, but his, uh, some of his views are very relevant to pragmatics also. For especially his views on meaning in particular are of direct relevance to pragmatics because he believes uh, that there, there could be no such things as semantics, rather we have syntax and pragmatics. There's a basic knowledge of the grammar of a language as well as how that language is used in various situations. But at the same time, he, he argues uh, that uh, a theory of language use is a kind of possibility because a simple language structure can be used differently in different situations and it can produce huge amounts of meanings based on it. So it would be very difficult to develop such a comprehensive theory of meaning which would include, or a theory of language which would include all those uses and their possible meanings. So uh, therefore, for Chomsky, this is a kind of possibility, impossibility. Uh, his, most of his principles uh, are based on two, two important concepts which, which have been very relevant uh, to linguistics in the last century. He, he proposes a principle of uh, competence and performance. Competence is the unconscious knowledge of a language which we usually have about its structure and various aspects. So this is our knowledge of a language. Performance is, is the, how a language is performed in various social situations. This performance is usually faulty or incorrect or, or correct or superb. Uh, but the competence remains almost the same in various situations. The distinction allows lingui a linguist to focus uh, on the properties of the grammatical system, uh, abstracting from how it is used. So when we have the concept of uh, competence, we could develop a reasonable grammar of a language. Uh, based on all these principles, Chomsky also proposed uh, the idea of universal grammar, uh, which is common to all languages in the world. There are certain uh, principles of grammar which would exist in all languages, and based uh, on that, uh, we, can, we can develop uh, our competence in various languages. For example, uh, we receive different inputs in various linguistic contexts. And based on that uh, linguistic concepts or inputs, uh, th uh, the universal grammar in our mind is, is adapted, and we start uh, understanding and uses the language uh, based on the kind of input we receive. Uh, all languages uh, are recursive in nature. This is one of the universal principles, uh, as uh, small phrases can be embedded into larger and larger, into even uh, uh, even greater or larger sentences. And this ability is innate in many speakers. For example, if you have a look at uh, the sentence at the top of this uh, slide, John ate the rice, can further be em em embedded into another uh, formation. For example, Mary thought that John ate the rice. This could further be developed into Bill suspected that uh, Mary thought that John ate the rice. So this, is, uh, this element of embeddedness is common in most of the languages in the world, uh, and it f uh, leads us to think about the structural aspects or dependencies which are common in various uh, languages, and they, they, they tell us how various words can be linked in a language. Uh, Chomsky has been uh, focusing on, in, in most of his works, on the organizing principles of grammar, and he, he uh, while doing so, he has not been uh, focusing only on describing or cataloging. Rather than he has been, he has been primarily interested in uh, in explaining uh, about various grammatical aspects and th their working in in our mind or unconscious self. Generative grammar is, is a term which is used uh, uh, for, for a theory proposed by uh, Noam Chomsky. It is also based on some of uh, the generative principles which are, which are there in our mind about uh, the generation of language. Chomsky uh, 
uh, also talks about uh, Descartes' principle of language use, and he, he, he says that normal human speech is unbounded, uh, free of stimulus control, uh, coherent, and in the same way, what we uh, might call the creative aspect of language use. Appropriate evoking uh, thoughts that the listener might have experienced. So, uh, according to Chomsky, language is, uh, uh, there, there can be certain principles on which we, ba on which we can base the grammar of a language, but uh, the use of human language is, or the speech is unbounded. You cannot restrict it to certain principles or thoughts. Therefore, he, he thinks that pragmatics, the systematic study of the use of language is pointless or impossible. Uh, however, uh, taking a clue from this, we might assume that there could possibly be another interpretation of uh, this statement. Uh, though Chomsky said that pragmatics is impossible, still we, we could, we could uh, take another interpretation uh, saying that the uh, pragmatic principles of appropriate use are part of the knowledge of language that we say linguistic competence. So uh, Chomsky probably would have uh, meant would possibly mean that uh, we cannot have a separate, uh, a separate subject or area of uh, pragmatics. It is largely embedded with the competence because people develop the competence not only of the forms of the language but also the competence of how to use them uh, differently in different situations. And then the, these principles could uh, be fruitfully investigated even though the purposes of language users cannot be. Still, uh, in such a the uh, theory, we could see that we could develop certain pragmatic uh, principles, uh, but it would be very difficult to look into the actual purposes of the users of those languages. So Chomsky's, to sum up, Chomsky's views, though they, na uh, they primarily do not focus on pragmatics, but have been very useful in understanding certain aspects of pragmatics, especially uh, the limitlessness of uh, the uses to which a human language can be put in the real world.